What's going on my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? Welcome to the PT channel. I'm one eye brow. You don't know if I'm winking or I'm blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about The Walking Dead. And in this video, we're gonna cover some Q&A from Skybound. They cover the show and the comics. And it was kind of cool. I think it was on Twitter where some people ask questions and some representatives from Skybound answer them. So obviously a spoiler warning for The Walking Dead season nine, first half, second half. And basically, if you're worried about spoilers, I don't want to ruin anything for you, so stop watching now. But first and foremost, guys, if you love what we do here, show us some love by hitting that subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your family to help us achieve your goal of 100,000 subscribers. Photo credit and info credit to these fine folks right here. Definitely want to give a shout out to Skybound, Gemini Stanley, AMC, and The Walking Dead. And here we go. So you can see the format here. Someone asked a question on Twitter, I believe, with that user handle, and that's how it works. Will Maggie be the familiar face that returned in the back half of season nine since it's going to be a flashback episode later this season? Unfortunately, no. We're done seeing Maggie this season, but showrunner Angela Kang has indicated she has plans for her in season 10, assuming we get one. So to me, that confirms that Lauren Cohan will not be back in the back half of season nine. We just have to wait and see. Are we getting Michonne pregnancy flashbacks? Maybe to when she found it, she was pregnant. Maybe this Michonne time jump could have been from any time in the six year time jump, but it's possible she could be pregnant with baby RJ in flashback. So that's not a definitive answer. We have to wait and see what the flashback will tell us, but I can't wait to find out. Is Santa bringing any babies this Christmas asking for a friend? Maybe not Christmas, but February, it's possible we haven't seen the last baby on The Walking Dead. And I would think we'll have another baby eventually. I don't think in the back half of season nine, we'll see any more pregnancies or babies being born. But again, we have to wait and see. How different is 9B from 9A? While the first half of the season settled us into the new world, the second half focuses primarily on our next villain group, the Whispers, the skin-wearing baddies who blend in with the walkers. And then I just read the synopsis. You can read that if you want. You can pause it. But I talk about the synopsis in another video. But clearly the Whispers are going to be a big part of the second half of season nine, probably going into season 10, and I can't wait to see them. On a scale of zero to 10, how badass will Michonne be in 9B? 11. Take it up to 11. I can't wait to see how badass Michonne needs to be. I think Michonne, Daryl, and Carol are going to have big interactions with the Whispers. How's it going to go down? We just don't know yet, but I'm definitely excited to see who interacts with Alpha, Beta, and Lydia. Any Daryl and Henry moments or scenes together? Since Carol entrusted Daryl to look after Henry at Hilltop, it's safe to assume they will have more scenes together in the second half. The rumor is and the word is that Daryl, Henry, Carol and Michonne will be heavily involved with the Whispers, so clearly Henry and Daryl will be seen together. Are Gracie and RJ friends? RJ and Gracie are pretty far apart in age, but most of the Alexandrian children are pretty close, so to answer your question, yes. So it makes sense that the kids of Alexandria are friendly, they would hang out, they would talk, they interact. Again, there can't be that many kids and children in Alexandria, so I would think they would be hanging out with each other. Just tell me anything about the Grimes family, please. They're all I care about. Since it's the holidays, we'll tell you that you haven't seen the last of Michonne, RJ, and Judith in a scene together. So very interesting. We haven't really seen them interact all together. We saw RJ interact with Michonne and Michonne interact with Judith, but I still want to see Judith and really anybody interact with RJ. Can you share if any of the cast members of Fear the Walking Dead have been promoted to series regulars for season five? Good question. Can't confirm anything, but expect more Fear season five news in the coming months. They're currently filming. So they're filming right now in Texas. And I have to say, I'm not the biggest Fear the Walking Dead fan, but I am interested to see what happens in season five. Five. After spending six years in a cell, will we see a change Negan or will he still be the same sadistic but lovable Negan? Even though Negan escaped in the mid-season finale, it's safe to say he's a different man than he was seven and a half years ago, you'll see. I think Negan needs to be redeemed, he needs to do something very, very big. How's my baby Rosita? Is she recovering well? When could we expect her back on her feet? Yes, Rosita's feeling well. Expect to see her doing better in the back half. And I really wonder what's going to happen with Rosita, Ezekiel, and the rest of the crew in the back half of season 9. If you know the comics, you know what I'm talking about. Daryl and Yumiko? Dumiko or Yarl? Neither. Yumiko's with Magna. Thank you very much. What's that? One more. Are we ever going to see Daryl with a girlfriend? Don't count on it. So I think they're going to make Daryl the lone wolf for the entire series, even though I know people want a love interest for him. Does Daryl have a nickname for RJ similar to Judas Little Ass Kicker? Does he check up on Rick Grimes' family like a brother should? Would Rick be proud of the support provided to Michonne Grimes and their kids? 
So many questions. So we can't answer all of them because we don't want to give too much away, but we can assume Rick would be proud of Daryl's involvement to his family. Even though he spent years in isolation, we might learn more about his relationship with the Grimes fam in the post-Rick era. And I definitely want to know more about that. Will we find out what happened to the women from Oceanside as justice for their murders and why they aren't locked up like Negan is? Actually, the Oceanside gals won't be punished for killing the Seavers at all. They're still very much allies of Alexandria, Kingdom, and Hilltop, even though the bond connecting the communities has soured. Maggie and Daryl barely flinched at Arat's execution, so no justice will need to be served. Remember how Carol dealt with the Saviors when she last encountered them. Pretty interesting. I can't wait to see about Oceanside. Can we look forward to more scenes between Michonne and Carol? That's a fair assumption. And I think it's interesting that they use the word fair, as we'll probably see a fair in season nine, and they've been talking about the fair all season, so we could see them be connected for sure. When will Aaron get a boyfriend? Should have been Jesus, but you killed him. Speaking of romance, don't hold your breath for a new Aaron romance talking to a crowd at Walker Stalker Con, New Jersey. Aaron actor Ross Marquand said, you can read that whole thing if you want, you can pause it, but basically that he has Gracie and that's where he's going to put his interest and focus as well as try to stay alive. I mean, the whispers are coming and that's going to be a big focus. So we'll see how Aaron holds up with that. And I know everybody's dying to find out about this. Who took Rick in the helicopter? I want him to come back. You'll find out in the movies. Obviously, that's where the Rick story is going. So they're not going to really spoil it on the show. We'll see how the movies and the show connect. But we'll have to wait for the movies. We last saw Carol leaving for the kingdom. Please tell me she's not going to stay there for the rest of the season. Will she find out about the Whispers and help fight against them? Carol's done a lot of traveling this season from the museum to the sanctuary to the kingdom to Daryl's camp to the hilltop. It's possible we'll see her in other locations in the back half, but expect to mostly see her at the kingdom. And I mean, that makes sense. Are we ever going to see Carol interacting with Judith again? Maybe. I want to see Carol interact with Negan. I want to see Ezekiel interact with Negan. I want to see all these interactions that we haven't seen on the show, which is pretty ridiculous since season seven, Negan's been around and we haven't seen certain characters interact with each other. Ezekiel backstory, more focus on screen representation development. The Walking Dead doesn't typically go too far in depth with backstories, but it's possible we can learn a little more about his pre-apocalyptic life sometime down the line. I don't think we're going to get a big backstory of Ezekiel. We already found out he was a zookeeper in there. I doubt we're going to see that much more of his backstory. Do you know where is Dwight? We can't tell you, but the white actor Austin Emilio seems pretty confident his character is just fine. He's not dead, Emilio said during this weekend's Walker Stalker New Jersey panel. That's all I can say. He's alive. He's alive in the world somewhere, I think, where he said he was going to go to try and find his wife and just be a lonesome traveler on the road. But I really hope he comes back. Should we prepare for any more time jumps? I'm not sure I'm ready to be honest. Yes, Michael Cutlitz and Angela Kang have both confirmed we'll learn how Michonne and Daryl got their X-shaped scars, aka a flashback. Stay tuned. So I wonder if that's going to be a bottle episode. They'll have some breaking thing and then we're going to have a flashback episode and then we'll see how everything connects. Are the Rick Grimes movies only going to be airing on TV, or is there a chance we could be able to see at least one of them in theaters? There are a lot of details that still have to be sorted out for the Rick Grimes movies, but for now, the plan is to air the films on AMC. So is it AMC? AMC Premiere? Is it both? Will you be able to see them early on AMC Premiere? We just don't know yet, but I'm excited to find out. Did anyone else feel a little bit of chemistry between Addie and Henry? Could there be something there to build on in the future? I mean, you can't blame her for not being too interested in Gage or Rodney, right? Since Henry has taken over a lot of the Carl's comic storyline, it makes sense that could also apply to the romantic life in the comics. Carl eventually couples up with Lydia, so that could be Henry and Lydia, Henry and Addie. Addie could be a replacement Sophia, so it could definitely happen. I missed King Ezekiel in 9A. Will we see more of him in 9B? There was so much story to tell in the first half that some characters like Ezekiel got less screen time than others. With the fair coming up, it's fair to say we'll see more Zeke in the second half. So the second time they brought up the fair, the fair, the fair. The fair is coming. Probably something big will happen at the fair. Judith told Michonne that she was starting to forget Rick and Carl's voices. Way back when Rick arrived in Alexandria, Deanna made tapes. Negan and the Saviors found them and took them with the camera. Do the tapes still exist? Does Negan know where they are? Unfortunately, they're currently MIA, not necessarily lost forever, but don't expect to see them again anytime soon. So that sucks. I was going to do a theory about that, and I still might, but I would like to see those tapes again for sure. 
Did Daryl and Michonne get those X's on their back from an alien abduction? Does Carol have one too? Yes and no. So what's yes and no? That's pretty interesting right there. So is it from an alien abduction? Yes. And does Carol have one? No. So the X's kind of came from an outside group and Carol doesn't have one. So there you go, guys. That's some second half answers from Skybound. If you posted a question to Skybound and I used it here, credit to you for sure. I'm just sharing it so I can read your awesome question. I'm excited for the back half of season nine. We got some more answers for the back half of season nine, which returns February 10th. 2019. I'm excited about it. Once we get more and more information, we will share it with you guys. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Please comment your thoughts about the questions that the people ask the Skybound and Skybound's answers. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. We have a goal of 100 thousand subscribers and we're going and growing we love the walking dead and if you do too this is a channel for you and remember guys with hard work dedication belief and sacrifice you can truly achieve your goals believe in yourself you can do it and tell them daryl yeah we love you guys honestly thank you